Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Boost. Peek a move. I can't. I cannot break another fan. Listen. Listen, Linda. I cannot break another. I cannot break another fan. I'm YouTube. I feel like I'm doing cameos right now. This is where I sit. Well, I either sit outside or I sit in here when I'm doing cameos. You know what cameos are? Cameos are those little private messages you can order from me and stuff like that. But I usually sit right here and all this kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm YouTube. Famous now. I almost hit my coffee. Uh, that would have been Chips Creek, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh my God. The album, Beauty Color. 15th Anniversary Remastered Edition by Cher. Do you believe in love after love? <laughs> oh my God, how are you guys doing today? Okay, well, let me tell you my life, okay? I just did an unboxing of a very expensive book with a date. <laughs> okay, book with a date. Date with a book on uh, my Peter Does Stuff channel. Can you believe that I broke my beast, man? That actually happened on camera, <laughs> on a drama video. Peekaboo, I see you. Cut, this scene is cut, this album is cut. Do you know where they uh, recorded Beauty Killer the 15th anniversary? At the Yak Farm, no true story. I'm gonna let you guys know about that in just a second. But anyway, let me tell you about my life, okay? Here is my life. <laughs> Last night, I was up very, very late. Um, partly because our little dog was having a hard time falling asleep, but also because I had to catch up on Big Brother. I had to catch up on Sister Wives. I'm watching the first season of The Worst Roommate Ever. I finished Monsters on Netflix this weekend about Lyle and, uh, Lyle and, I was gonna call them Lyle and Kyle. Lyle, <laughs> Lyle and Kyle Menendez, Lyle and Eric Menendez. I'm gonna do a reaction to that on my Peter Watches TV channel today. Today I did a reaction, a 30 minute reaction to Sister Wives, season 19, episode two. And then what else did I watch? Oh, this weekend I also watched Little Miss Innocent, this new true crime documentary. I watched so much this weekend. Oh my God, I had such a relaxing weekend. So I haven't filmed over here since Friday. Did you miss me? Anyway, oh, the last time I wore this shirt in a video, somebody got so pissed and I said, don't wear a t-shirt unless we can see what it says. This is based on a true story. Come on now. <laughs> anyway, how are you doing today? So I had on my list, so see, I keep a list every single day of like all the videos that I'm gonna make because I'm very professional. We're professional over here. If you ever watch The Simple Life, did you guys know The Simple Life is coming back? Oh my God, I cannot wait. But I watch every episode of uh, The Simple Life. Do you guys remember back in the day when there was the one episode, I don't remember when it was, I think it was a psychic reader, and they kept, and, uh, Nicole Richie kept on asking these questions, can we do this, can we do that? And the, the psychic reader was like, no, because that's not, that's not, she's, instead of professional, she said professional. And every time that she would say it, they would go, er, like that, and look at each other. But anyway, uh, so, I looked at my list today, and my list for my video today, based on a true story, says, <clears throat> I haven't filmed a video in front of my computer for so long. This is kind of fun. Okay. Um, the, my, my video for today on my drama channel, let's see what it says. Okay. My Peter does stuff. It says right here, haul, date with a book. And then next down, it says TV. And it says monsters, but that's coming tomorrow because Sister Wives was today. And then drama, it says beauty killer lyrics, album reaction. So that's what we're going to do today. Oh, and then it says, oh my God, Adam and Eve sponsorship. Oh, I forgot all about my Adam and Eve sponsorship. Okay, so for those of you that um, are new to the game, I um, have worked with Adam and Eve for years and years and years and years and years and years. So, um, I want to thank Adam and Eve for sponsoring yet another video on my channel. Thank you, Adam and Eve, so much. I love Adam and Eve. They have been so kind to work with me literally months and months and years and years and years. I love Adam and Eve so much. Um, I will link all the information in the comment section below or the description box below, but go check out adamandeve.com and with my code, code Peter, you get 50% off your uh, first item plus free shipping and handling in the United States and Canada. Some exclusions do apply. Um, you can get all your intimate goodies over there, okay? All your intimate goodies that we'll probably read about today in the lyrics because, you know, Jeffree Star. So anyway, um, but you can get, listen, you can get your lingeries 
over there. They got books. They got furniture. They got swings. I don't even know they had backyard furniture, but they do. Well, I think it's back, back, door, back door bedroom furniture. But they got swings, and they got all kinds of stuff. Now, they are pay paying me. This is a paid sponsorship, so I am being paid to endorse um, Adam and Eve. I just want to let you know that in complete transparency. Um, so thank you, Adam and Eve, for paying me a huge sum of money to shout out your business that I've loved working with for years and years and years. And no, I truly stand behind them. And one of the reasons why I stand behind them is because they are a business with a mission. And I love any kind of business that has a mission. And 20% of the proceeds goes to the fight and prevention of HIV and AIDS around the world. So anything that you, anything that you purchase from them, if you use my code, code Peter, um, on Adam and Eve, you just put it at the very end of your checkout thing. If you put it on our, I will be anonymous. I will not know what you bought. Um, I have no clue. I don't get any of that kind of information and stuff like that. But if you buy something for four dollars, you get it for two. If you buy something for ten dollars, you get it for five. If you buy something for a hundred dollars, you get it for fifty because it's fifty percent off. Okay, <laughs> with free shipping and handling. I mean, that's a pretty big deal, right? And then twenty percent of that goes to the the fight and prevention of HIV and AIDS around the world, and that's that's amazing, right? And I love that. Plus. They have a 90-day hassle-free return policy. So if you get it and you don't like it and you need a different size or something, then you just listen. You just send it back. They also have 24-hour customer service. So if you need to talk to somebody, um, you can call them up on the phone. And all that information is linked below. Thank you, Adam and Eve, for sponsoring this video. Thank you for paying me lots and lots of money. But um, I really, really do love Adam and Eve, and we've ordered lots from Adam and Eve through the years, and um, I know a lot of you have because you guys always message me. Some of you shout it off in the comment section. So, um, listen, use my code. You'll make me happy. Um, you will. I'll even be this transparent. If you keep on using my code, Adam and Eve will keep on using me. That's why they kept on using me all these years, because you keep on using my code. So you make me happy. You make you happy. You'll be the happiest of all, and trust, okay? You make Adam and Eve happy. So everybody's happy, and... Okay, we continue to get to fight uh, HIV, the spread of HIV and AIDS around the world with prevention and education, which is amazing. So, thank you, Adam and Eve. Okay, let's get into this. Woo! You know what I feel like today? I feel like I should break out the, what is the lip gloss that, or the lip balm that everybody said? I did this in a vlog the other day, and it truly does. Somebody said it looked like the 80s lip, like the lipstick from the 80s. This is the, uh, what is it called? Unicorn Kisses. So we're not going to use that one. We're going to use the Mermaid Kisses today to talk about Jeffree Star. So for those of you that uh, don't know, Jeffree Star released his, if you want these, these are Treat Beauty, not sponsored, but they are, uh, I think they're like $14.99, these big lip balms. This one that has a little bit of a shimmer to it is called Magic Mermaid. And then on top of it, I put a little lip gloss because, you know, you always got to stay pretty. Stay pretty. Um, so anyway, Joey Star re-released his uh, Beauty Killer. It's the 15th anniversary of his Beauty Killer album. Hold on. I have his website pulled up right here. This is why I'm saying from the computer today. So it is, you can buy for, and he also released a palette, a mini palette. And with the mini palette, um, each of the, the shade pan names are all named after a song on the Beauty Killer album. So anyway, I do want to say congratulations to Jeffree Star on the 15th anniversary of Beauty Killer. Um, I will say Beauty Killer, and in all transparency, is a song that I really liked back in the day. Even though, I mean, it was very cheesy MySpace song, but 15 years ago, I liked it. I thought it was kind of a catchy tune, you know, and all this kind of stuff. But today, I mean, Chapel Rome, <laughs> Taylor Swift, <laughs> Stevie Nicks. I don't think that it holds today. I just don't, Jeffree Star, okay? But I will, I will say this. I've listened to all the tracks on the album. Um, and I will give you, and if you want to just listen to them without buying them, um, I found them all online. So you can Google search them and find them all online, but you can also go into your iTunes and you can listen to a little bit of each song if you want to do that. That's how I did it. And then I was like, no, I've got to be able to find the full editions online. So I did. But when I started listening to them, I have to say like the remastered version of uh, Beauty Killer is not, it's, well, no, no, no. The new song that he has that we're going to read the lyrics to today, at first I was like, oh, I kind of like this. Like I, I was kind of impressed to be honest with you. I was like, I think that I could hear this like in a club. And then Jeffrey comes in with his MySpace, like, hi, how are you? And I was like, this is so like voiceover track on a keyboard MySpace, like, I mean, 15, I mean, it sounds 15 years ago. It's it's rather embarrassing, but even more so, the laughable moment. 
is what he calls the country music song on here. But that's the country music version of Beauty Killer, which we're gonna get into in just a second. So, because we're gonna read, I feel like Glozel Green today, back in the day. Oh my God, when I used to watch Glozel Green reading Kesha lyrics at her computer, I feel very much that today. So we're gonna get into this. But, um, hold on a second, I need a sip of my coffee first. Okay, uh, so let's look on his website right here. I think it's all for pre-order right now. Um, is it for pre-order? Shop the Beauty Killer 15th Anniversary. So what you can buy is the Autograph Lollipop Killer Ultimate Bundle. And with that, you get, I'll tell you what you get. It's $113 because people have that kind of money today. Um, it has no reviews on it, obviously. Inspired by the 15th anniversary of Beauty Killer, our Lollipop Killer Ultimate Bundle features a collection of pink toned shades to amplify your look. Because, of course, he hasn't done pink and red before. Um, bundle lo includes Lollipop Killer Mini Artistry Palette. That's his new palette. Magic Candy Liquid Blush Lollipop Luxury, named after Jeffree Star's iconic song featuring the one and only Nicki Minaj. He is kind of killing that to death. Like, in his video, he was like, oh, Nicki Minaj. Did I tell you that Nicki Minaj did a song with me? Oh, by the way, Nicki Minaj did a song with me. Girl, Nicki Minaj don't know you today, okay? D do a video with her. If you want to sing out her name so much, do a video with Nicki Minaj today, okay? Um... Valora Lip, she probably doesn't even know this was named after her. Valora Liquid Lipstick and Lollipop Killer and Strawberry Youth and an autographed 15th year anniversary edition CD pack. And you can get that for $113. Okay. And here it has all the tracks down here. We're going to get to those in just a second. Then you can also buy the autographed Green Queen Bundle. And that comes with the palette and the album. And that's $53. Then you can buy the Cloud Blood Red Killer Bundle. And that's got the two liquid with lipsticks plus it looks like an album and that's $69 autograph killer I mean what are all these different bundles he's got the palette plus the CD that's 43 they're all autographed okay lollipop killer artistry palette $28 for a mini palette of six pans mm, that's rather expensive um, Lollipop Killer Liquid Lipstick, $22. So his liquid lipsticks have gone up. I thought they were $18, but I could be wrong. It's Strawberry Youth, $22. He's got a new mirror. Oh, no, this is from the, or that's the Orgy Whip mirror. That one's old. Okay. It's $32. Uh, the Star Vinyl pre-order, $25. So you can get the vinyl for $25. The CD you can get for $15. The vinyl for $25. I'm confused what this is. Then he's got a bunch of merch. His merch, to be honest with you... I mean, back in the day, he was talking about killer merch and all that kind of stuff. His merch looks cheap on here. I mean, I know my merch looks cheap, okay? And I'll admit it all day long. <laughs> my merch looks hella cheap. I get it, okay? His merch looks cheap. I mean, it's literally a trucker hat and not like a nice trucker hat like this. You can see this one's like emboldened and stuff like that. But this one says just beauty killer, okay? And on pink, it's cheap. It looks cheap. And then some hoodies and stuff like that. I mean, and oh, oh girl, a studded belt from $55, <laughs> Is this Hot Topic? Am I shopping at Hot Topic right now, girl? A pink beauty killer anniversary tee with Jeffree Star. Oh, here's a, a knife trucker hat. It's got a knife on it. It says beauty killer. $35. Who is buying that? Who is buying this ridiculous shit? Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going we're gonna to look. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but hold on a second. I went to the library today because I heard that Jeffree Star's memoir came out. Did you guys know that it did? For, so for those of you that don't know, Jeffree Star previously wrote a memoir, and his memoir was called The Lonely Doll, The Life and Times of Jeffree Star. But he's been hinting out that he's going to write a new memoir, and so I, wrote, I, I found it at the library. I couldn't believe that it wasn't on hold by a million people, but his new book came out, and the new book is called The Lonely Doll Learns a Lesson, <laughs> okay? So let's get into this book, shall we? Oh my god, I already wrote my book, my name in it and everything. Or somebody else did. They wrote my name in it in 2021 when they sent it to me. Okay. So, the lonely doll learns a lesson. Oh my god, there she is, Jeffree Star. With Hair by Jay right there, okay? Hair by Jay's, he, he's like, Jay, listen, I can't with this wig anymore. And Hair by Jay's like, just hold me. Just hold me, don't cry. Don't cry, just hold me. Okay, let's look at the lesson. Okay, to Bill with gratitude and affection. Who's Bill? Is Bill somebody that dipped into his DMs? Probably an NFL player. One day in the fall of the year. Oh my God, I'm like literally reading this straight off of here. One day in the fall of the year. Oh my God, it is the fall of the year. One day in the fall of the year, Jeffrey Pookie Lynn Starr sighed and said, I wish it were summer again when I had all these friends. And oh my God, it says, I wish we were back on the farm. I, you cannot write this shit, okay? He wishes he was back on the ranch. My kitten and I don't care where we are as long as we're together, said Jeffrey. I cannot do this today. I cannot do this. He and his puss puss do 
not care where they are. Justice for Puss Puss as long as they are together. <laughs> Jeffrey and his Pussow. You and your kitten, said Share by Jay. You never called it your kitten before, not to me. Oh, Jeffrey said, you don't ever dip into my DMs like those fake NFL players and all this kind of stuff. I can't do this today. I just can't. Let's get into these lyrics. We'll save the Lonely Doll. But true story, I do have both of the books. <laughs> okay. Collector's items. I got this at a garage sale when I was a little kid. Can you believe it? Look, it used to be pink and white like gingham. And now look at it. <laughs> She's a sad state of affairs today. Okay. Look at Jeffrey Lynn Pookie Star. Just look at her. She's had a tough life. That's why she just needs to sack it in and retire with her millions of dollars. I would if it were me. Um, okay, so let's get into this and read these lyrics so that the whole world can say I'm jealous of Jeffree Star for writing such amazing lyrics. Okay, so when you go in here and you... When you go in here and you say, I love when people say I'm jealous of Jeffree Star. Oh, I'll 100% uh, all day long admit that. I wish I had the money that Jeffree Star did. I absolutely fucking 100% wish I had the kind of money that Jeffree Star did. I can tell you if I did have that kind of money, I wouldn't be sitting in no TikTok battle calling people a bunch of pookies. Oh no, I'd be traveling the world with my husband, okay? And this channel would no probably longer be a drama commentary channel. It would probably be a travel channel, okay? And I would be vlogging every night. And I would be watching TV shows from my hotel room. And I would be doing reactions to that. And I would be eating at restaurants around the world. And I would be living my best life, okay? Me and my husband and Boo Radley, we would be living our best life. So when people want to say I'm Jeff jealous of Jeffree Star, 100%, I wish I had his money, okay? But if I did have his money... I wouldn't be doing what Jeffree Star is doing, okay? Sitting in some sad room in a robe without doing my hair, okay? And uh, battling it out and putting out some album with this pathetic song 15 years later, okay? Although, if I did have that kind of money, I might put an album out as a joke. Is this a joke? I'm confused, okay? Because if I had that kind of money, I would probably put it out as a joke, okay? I can't make videos about nobody anymore. No true story, I can't. Every other drama commentary channel out there, they can make videos about anybody. If I make videos about Jeffree Star, I'm jealous. If I make videos about Shane Dawson, I'm jealous. If I make videos about Robbie Christie, I'm jealous. If I make videos about the sister wives, I'm jealous that I ain't fucking Cody Brown, okay? Trust me. <laughs> I might be jealous of somebody in the riches, but I ain't jealous of fucking Cody Brown, okay? I can tell you that right now, nor his hairdo. His three-piece ramen hairdo. I am not jealous of Cody Brown one bit, okay? But I am, I would like to have some of this money. I would, I, you know? I do think it's rather nice because, you know, back in the day when I was covering the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson palette, because Shane Dawson didn't know the conspiracy palette. Jeff Shane Dawson didn't know anything about money or about anything about makeup. And I said, you know, it'd be really, really nice if they donated an amount of these proceeds to, you know, certain organizations and stuff because they're making all this money off that. And I can remember the, I mean, the hundreds of comments that I got from people that said, How, why would you even question that? Of course, Jeffrey and Shane are donating money. They never did. Okay. They never donated any of the proceeds from, uh, they donated it to the state of Colorado, where they bought that ranch. <laughs> they donated it to the state of California, where they have another ranch, okay? They donated it to, I don't know, Coach, because these days I hear Jeffree Star's flying Coach. He ain't flying PJs no more, okay? He ain't flying PJs in his PJ anymore. But let's get to these lyrics, okay? But come for me all day long and say I'm jealous of Jeffree Star. Hell yes, I wish I had Je Jeffree Star's money, but I wouldn't be doing what he's doing. I'm not even on TikTok now. You think I'd be on TikTok battling somebody if I had $300 million or $100 million or whatever the man's supposedly worth? You think I'd be in some TikTok battle begging for money and trying to make it fake look like I am sending money to myself from other account? <laughs> You probably wouldn't see me on the Instagram, the Facebook, nowhere else, okay? You know why? You know why? Because I'd be so busy sitting in one of them pods on the plane flying around the world, okay? Watching movie after movie and reacting to it from my pod, okay? On my plane, on my Peter Watches TV channel that I wouldn't be talking about Jeffrey Lynn Pookie Lynn Star no more, okay? He ain't got it figured out at all. He ain't got it figured out at all. If he called me today, tomorrow and said, what do you think I should do? I'd say, none of this nonsense and get off fucking TikTok. Go live your best life. You've got more money than God. You tell people that all the time. So either he doesn't have that much money. Or he does, and he's not grateful for what he has because he's not living his best life. He's cussing people out in TikTok streams, you know? I'm not saying I don't want to cuss somebody out every once in a while, but it ain't somebody that I know or don't know, and it definitely ain't somebody in a TikTok live stream. I'm so confused about all that. But anyway, 
Yes, I do wish that I had Jeffree Star Lynn's Pookie Lynn's money. Okay. Um, and I do wish that I had a lot of these people's money because I would be doing things a lot different than they are with their money. Okay. And it's not like I'm going to sit here and say that I would donate all of it to charity because I wouldn't. <laughs> I would donate some of it to charity. Trust. I would. Especially dog rescues and squirrel rescues and things like that. But mostly, I probably would be traveling in those pods, you know, and watching the movies and things like that. Okay. I'd love to have that kind of money. I'm not going to sit here and be a bullshit artist, but that's not why I'm making videos about Jeffree Star, because I'm jealous of his money. <laughs> I'm not. I'm making videos because I'm a drama commentary channel, but apparently I'm the only one. I'm the only drama commentary channel that can't make videos about drama commentary, because whatever I talk about, whoever I talk about, it's the wrong person to talk about to somebody. So what that tells me is talk about whoever the fuck you want to talk about. And I'm going to talk about whoever the fuck I want to talk about, and today we're going to take it back to Glozell Green, and we are going to, um, who, by the way... She supports Colleen Ballinger. So, anyway. But we're going to go in here today. Important pre-order information. This item is a pre-order and will begin shipping Friday, September 20th. So, it's already shipping. Have people gotten it already? Because there's no reviews on it at all. I'm kind of surprised about that. Okay. Inspired... Well, I mean, it's only been two days. So, it probably isn't there yet. Inspired by the 15th anniversary... Oh, I already read this. Okay. Beauty Killer 15-year anniversary edition CD... Uh, dig, DG pack? I don't know. The 15-year anniversary edition... Okay. Includes the original album plus never be hor before heard tracks. Oh my lord! We're gonna read them today. With a stunning design and high quality sound. Um, <laughs> did you hear the Western version of Beauty Killer? I did. I don't know if I would call it uh, high quality. Okay, it's. I don't think he'll, they'll be asking him to host the CMAs anytime in the near future. Let's just put it that way. It's a perfect addition to any music lover's collection. Okay. Uh, what I really think happened was he went to Nashville to hang out with some country music star and then said, oh, you should probably come back to my ranch and we could record this. And then he tried to do them or something like that. And then he, it didn't work where he could like post pictures of them because the guy's like, no, you're, I mean, he posted pictures with this guy in a bar in Nashville. I mean, I could go to a bar in Nashville and take pictures with somebody. Was he doing that guy? I mean, if, if the guy will let him take a picture and say he's doing them, then he posts the picture. But they're never doing it anyway. We know that, right? But if they don't, so, I mean, he said he was spending a lot of time in Nashville. But the song was recorded at the Yak Ranch. So why were you in Nashville? Don't make no sense now unless you're opening another one of those meat and makeup shops, which the first one and the second one aren't doing that good. So, anyway, okay. So a track list. Get Away With Murder, Prisoner, Louis Vuitton Body Bag, Beauty Killer, Electric Sugar Pop, Love Rhymes With F.U., uh, bitch, please. Lollipop Luxury featuring Nicki Minaj. Gotta make sure we get that in there. Get Physical. Fame and Riches. Rehab. Bitches. Fresh Meat. Queen of the Club Scene. And the bonus tracks. Uh, hi. How are ya? Because that's what he says in every video, you know? Red Lipstick featuring Yellow Wolf. And Beauty Killer, the Wyoming, Wyoming edition. Now, this is important because this is a country music song. We're going to get to that in just a second. I'm not going to play these for you. Y'all can go hear them on your own, okay? But I know that just like Janelle Brown with Cody Brown, she's lawyering up, okay? And I know that Jeffree Star's lawyering up. And I'm not stupid. I already said that I'm jealous of his money. I know that he's got a lot more money than me, okay? Because we already talked on the phone about his attorneys way back in the day when he was friendly with me. I think I talked to his attorney on the phone, actually. I don't, not because he was coming for me. That was when we were, like, you know, friendly and things like that. I don't need him to lawyer up and get shitty about this. <laughs> so, listen, we're just gonna... <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. If I did, I'd be already flying in those pods living that life, Okay? I don't have that kind of money to be sued by Jeffree Star for reading some lyrics on here. How do I get down to this? Why is this not letting me get down? Okay. Song credits. Hi. How are you? Um, okay. So, uh, lullabies for John Bonet. Oh, I forgot about all that. Because he's got the John Bonet Ramsey tattoo. So classy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. A little girl that was murdered. I think that's really classy. Okay. Um, and then it says, remastered by whoever recorded at the Star Yak Ranch. I did not realize that there was a full-on recording studio at the Star Yak Ranch. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. It's a keyboard with a microphone. <laughs> Don't take much, does it? Okay, it's a keyboard with a microphone. So, hi, how are you? It was recorded at Star Yak Ranch. Okay, and out there, you can also, while you're recording a song, you can also eat some beef jerky made from yak. A beef, a, a yak, and he could do your makeup. Oh, Jeffree Star actually can't do your makeup. He has to fly Lipstick Nick out there to do your makeup for you while you're eating the yak jerky. And then out the window looking at the yaks that are going to be jerky. Well, some of them he has as pets. I don't think he really remembers which ones are pets and which ones are jerky. I don't think he really remembers. But you can look out the window and you can look at the yaks that are probably pets while you're eating yak jerky. And Lipstick Nick is doing your makeup. 
while you're coming up with a bunch of shit and typing like Gabby Hanna on a keyboard uh, while you're writing this song. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Just that, When you go down here and you read the lyrics, which I'm gonna read for you in a second, it's literally like the first three stances out, how, how are ya? Ha, ha, how are you? Okay, it's like, can you imagine? I mean, he's sitting there, he's drinking like a Red Bull, and he's like smoking a joint. He's like, okay, it's coming to me. And the guy's just like sitting like this on the keyboard. He's like playing the same stanza over and over. And he's like, it's coming to me. How? Ha. No. No. Jay, I need another wig! How? How are you? How, how, how are you? That's it! How are you? <laughs> okay. So all the new tracks are uh, pedal steel, okay, are recorded at the Star Yak Ranch. I think that's interesting, first of all. And then it goes through here, and then these other ones are, what does this say? California Residence. Some, oh, this is some, some, oh, wait. Warning, some products can expose you to chemicals, including titanium dioxide, which is known to the state of California to cause cancer. For more information, oh, he has to put this on there? I did not know that. Okay. But anyway, so good for him for following the law and things like that. Okay, we're, let's get into the lyrics now. So here is his new song, which is called, from his, hi, how are ya? Hi, how are ya? Beauty Killer 15th Anniversary Edition. Okay. So the intro, two contributors. Who are the contributors? Let's see. Um, okay, I don't know who those people are. <laughs> oh, those are the people that are putting the song on here. I get it. Okay. So, hi. Or it goes, intro. <laughs> I mean, this song is really, really sharp. Short. Shark. It's really sharp. It is a shark. The sh this song is totally a shark. Okay? It is. Well, here's the thing. So, let's get, let me tell you about the songs before I get into the lyrics. Okay? So, when I started listening to the song, I will tell you that, like, the first time that I heard it. I was kind of like, oh, this is not bad. Like, this beat is good. Like, I would hear this in a lyric, or I would hear this in a club. I mean, most of the clubs that I go today have residencies of people like Nora and Pure and Cascade and uh, Rufus DeSoul and, you know, I mean, Martin Garrix. I mean, huge DJs. So those are the clubs that I go to today. But, um, I mean, unless it's like a local bar or something like that, you know. But um, at first I was kind of like, oh, I could kind of hear this, like, you know, in a, in a gay bar or something like that as a track. Did it just start raining? Oh my lord, it did. So I was like, okay, I could kind of imagine hearing this in a bar. But then it comes in. Like, the track is not bad. But then it comes in, he's like, hi, how are you? Hi, how It so is like, <laughs> the thing puts the lotion on its skin before it gets the hose again. The thing puts the lotion in the basket. I mean, Jeffree Star's voice, okay, I have never proclaimed. I just want to make this very, very clear, okay? I sing in my videos. It's a joke. I like to sing. I like to sing around my house. I'm not releasing an album. The release of my album has been a joke, always, okay? It's a joke of my... I know people are like, what? No, we all know it's a joke, right? Okay. I mean, I have thought about releasing an album as a joke, okay? I know that I can't sing, all right? But I probably, in all honesty, I probably can even sing better than Jeffree Star, okay? To act like he didn't have his big music moment. The song is ruined when Jeffree Star starts singing, okay? First of all. Second of all, when you go down here and you listen to this country music song, which is called Beauty Killer Wyoming Edition, <laughs> okay? That's the country music song. <laughs> It's a slow down version, okay? When you listen to it, you will totally understand what I'm talking about, okay? You probably should go listen to these songs first before you watch this video. But anyway, when you listen to everybody just laughed. <laughs> everybody just laughed. My, why did you leave my video? So when you're listening to the version, okay, the Wyammy, Wyammy, the why? Yammies, whammies, I want whammies. Was that sale of the century back in the day? My tripod is falling. Was that sale of the century with it? No more whammies, no more. What was that? I love that game show back in the day. But anyway, when you listen to the Wyoming edition, this country, this is his Beyonce moment. Okay, he's like, oh, and I came out with a country music song. I'm like, where's the country music song? So I'm like listening to all these and I'm like, what's the country music song? And then it's like, it comes on and I'm like, oh shit. Beauty Killer Wyoming Edition in his country music song. Okay, so what it is is it's a very slowed down track of Beauty Killer. And <laughs> do you remember that song? Okay, I love that song. I think it's, uh, who is it by? Well, I can't remember. You gotta count your money. <laughs> gotta count your money. But it was, it, was it called, what's that song called? I think it's called like Ghetto Cowboy or something like that. Who is it? It's not Bone Thugs and Harmony, but it's like some of them. Ghetto Cowboy. Who wrote that song back in the day? 
Um, Bone Thugs and Harmony sang it. Okay. But you remember that song? At the very beginning of it, it's like you hear like a tumbleweed like blowing in the wind and like whistle. Do you guys know the beginning of that song? If you have it, you'll, if you have, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. It kind of like is a little bit of that at the beginning. Like it slows way down. And then it's like Jeffree Star trying to have like a twang. Okay. Like here, let me, I don't know what the lyrics are to Beauty Killer. So hold on a second. Beauty Killer. <laughs> I, sh I guess I should, shouldn't I? For my uh, deep uh, Jeffree Star. <laughs> we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to do it. Uh, Reimagination. Okay. This is going to stop in a second. This is going to stop. Hold on just a second. Always have to pose. Okay. What does he say at the beginning of it? If I can't be beautiful, I'd rather just die. Okay, so in this one, it's kind of like all like Patsy climbed up. He's like, <laughs> he's like, if I can't be beautiful, I'd rather just die. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on here? My mom and I back in the day, she would pick up like a song, okay? And my this was like when I was like seven, okay? And we'd be in the kitchen, she'd be cooking. And this is what it so reminded me of. My mom would pick a song like The Sun Will Come Out from Annie, right? And she'd be like, okay, sing it, Broadway style. I'd be like, The Sun Will Come Out Tomorrow, Bet Your Bottom Dollar That. And then my mom would be like, okay, sing it country style. And then I'd be like, The Sun Will Come Out Tomorrow, Bet Your Bottom. This is so what this reminds me of, okay? My mom and I, in the kitchen, countrifying a song. That's what this reminds me of, and he thinks it's his Beyonce moment. That is what is so sad about this, okay? I mean, it's literally like, <laughs> it's just, it's so bad, okay? It's just the country music song. It is like, okay. If you are Jeffrey Lynn, Pookie Lynn star, okay, how old is Jeffrey Lynn at this point? I mean, it really shouldn't matter, but if you're his age, and you're as smart as he is, and you've had as much life experience, if you're gonna come out with new tracks on an album, Baby, they better fucking bang, okay? They better be like, damn, like all your doubters better, unless you're gonna make it as a joke, all your doubt, I mean, he came out and said this was a true country music song. He's been in Nashville, okay? So what he's been in Nashville, with fucking cowboys, I don't know, okay? But he's been in Nashville. So now that he's come out with this country music song, it makes sense that he was in Nashville because he's been doing all his research on country music. If you're going to announce that you're coming down with a crossover song, it better fucking bang, right? Okay. I mean, any musician in the world, not just don't come for me and say, oh, you hate Jeffree Star. Any country, any person in the world, okay, would say that about Beyonce or anybody else. Like, it better hit, okay? It better, it better, you better bring it if you're going to do it, okay? So, I'm sitting there and I'm listening to it and I'm like, is this a joke? Like, he is like... Does he just not care anymore? I mean, like, I'm not talking about I don't give a F. I'm talking about, like, does he just really not care anymore at all? Like, this is embarrassing. Like, I would rather just re-release the album than release these three new tracks. And the fact that people are in the comment sections, like, this is your moment. You're going to be signed. You're going to do a world tour. I'm like, what? By the way, people always send me stuff after I've already made the video. Because, like, I did this video the other day saying that Kat Von D just released an album and that she's going on tour at the same time that Jeffree Star is. And then a bunch of people sent me this thing and they said, did you know that Kat Von D just released an album? I'm like, yeah, I just made a video about it. But anyway, um, so I just want to put that out there as well. But I'm like, this is embarrassing. Like, I, to be honest with you, like... To do a palette with the songs on it, I think this is the wrong time. I think if he had done it after the Shane Dawson, like, a year thing after, I think it would have sold a ton. I think people would have been really into it. I think if he would have done it and said, I'm going to do it the same way that music sounded when I got popular on MySpace days and did the Warp Tour because the Warp Tour is supposedly coming back and all this kind of stuff. I think this was maybe his attempt to do the Warp Tour again. I don't know. But I don't know that they would pick him off, up, uh, pick him up off this album. Um, but... I think if he would have come back and said, this is my walk down nostalgia, whatever. But to come out with these three new tracks that sound worse than his tracks that he put out 15 years ago and say he's doing a country music song or a Western country music crossover song or whatever, and it's bad. I mean, it's bad. It's laughable bad. I mean, it's like when you look at somebody and it's like you see somebody on TV. Remember that show? What's that show called? Funny Things That People Do On TV or something like that. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? My husband loves those shows. I can't stand those shows. They're so stupid. You know, you know what I'm talking about? It's like... And then they turned it into, like, funny things pets do on TV. But now we got TikTok, so nobody watches that show anymore. But you know what I'm talking about? It's like that when you watch somebody, and it's like, <laughs> which, what is going on here? That's how I felt when I listened to this country music song. The other tracks, I was just like, oh, these sound like Jeffree Star tracks. The country music song, I was like, what is going on here? Is this a joke? Like, are we being punked? Like, I'm serious. So let's get in here to these lyrics, shall we? Okay. Intro. How. How are why. <laughs> yeah. How? How are? Why? Yeah. <laughs> G 
Girl, you should have straight up wrote a song called The Lonely Doll. Verse one, self-made CEO. Wow. <laughs> well, I'll tell you if any drag queens cover this, they won't be having to do no raspberry motherfucker because they don't know the words because these words are real easy. Self-made CEO. Wow. <laughs> wow, in parentheses. Filthy rich, still a hoe. <laughs> Girl, please, okay, please. I hope you are getting it. I hope you are, okay? I hope you are straight up getting it in them track suits, looking like somebody's mom, picking up Susie and Sally from soccer practice in that hair by Jay wig. I hope you are doing it left and right. I hope you are. I hope you are getting so done, okay, that you are so done. I hope you are so done from people hitting you in the DMs that you are, that you proclaim to be a hoe. I, I say like Olivia Plath says and welcome to Plathville, live your best hoe life. I think, I hope you are getting it left and right, Okay. I'm just a little speculative about who's doing you, okay? That's all I want to know, girl, okay? I just am a little speculative about who's doing you in them tracksuits and that hair by Jay updo, okay? I'm just asking. I'm just, I'm just saying, okay? Unless somebody's got mommy issues or something, okay? Because I can tell you right now, ain't nobody looking for. I, this is mommy issues shit, okay? I don't know. Somebody purring like a kitten like that lonely doll over there, okay? But I'm confusion. Filthy Rich, still a hoe. MySpace icon. Girl. <laughs> Girl, why would you put that in there? No. Okay, this is not a walk down memory lane. This is not a good one, okay? Forbes list. I want to look this up. When was Jeffree Star on the Forbes list? Forbes list. Jeffree Star. How, was it this year? Was it last year? Here it is. Okay. Where's this at? Here is his... Oh, wait, wait, highest paid of 2020. Okay. Attracting a slightly older audience. <laughs> so, did he know that? Okay. Oh, there's an article written up about him. Oh, wait, no, this is all about, oh, it's got David Dobrik, Mr. Beast. Wait a second. It just went over. Okay. David Dobrik, Mr. Beast. I don't know who that is. Is that Ryan's Toys? Some chick, some girl, and Jeffree Star. Okay. What does it say about Jeffree Star on here? The highest paid stars of 2020, it says. So he was the highest paid star, making $15 million on YouTube in 2020. Total million views. Total subscribers were 16.9. So I asked that the other day. I asked if Jeffree Star had lost subscribers because people were like, that's not true, Jeffree Star hasn't lost any subscribers. Well, apparently he has because it says on here in 2020 that Jeffree Star had 16.9 million subscribers. So now he has 15.7. So he's lost 1.2 million subscribers. That's a lot of subscribers to lose. He was getting 600 million views, and he said, on 600 million views, he said there were no views. Oh, there's David Dobrik and his gang, and okay, they're driving in a car, and oh, there's Jason Nash in the background. He's begging for money on the TikTok. Oh, okay. Who is these people? David Dobrik, he made 15.5. So Jeffree Star, oh no, Jeffree Star was 10 out of 10. So, but that's still money. Oh, I love that it says his self-described past racist behavior and allegations of, of SA, which he denies. D did he deny those? I thought he came out with a video addressing his uh, racist behavior. As well as years-long feud with fellow YouTuber James Charles has caused some business ramifications, including... The d this is by Forbes Magazine. You want to talk about Forbes Magazine? This is what Forbes Magazine has to say about you since you wrote a lyric about him. The beauty star has been caught up in controversy. His self-described past racist behavior and allegations of S.A., which he denies, as well as years-long feud with fellow YouTuber James Charles, a predator, have caused some business ramifications, including a decision by retailer Morphe to stop selling his line. Regardless, he still clocked more than half a billion views in our time period. Even more lucrative than his YouTube channel, though, is his makeup line, which he sells direct to consumer. Goes on. Blood Money, con Conspiracy Collection, launched last year, reportedly sold 1 million eyeshadow palettes in, in 30 minutes. But Shane Dawson said he didn't make any money off that. <laughs> okay. So this Forbes article that you reference, the Forbes that you article, Forbes list. Okay. The Forbes list that you article cause you a racist and has allegations of SA. Did you address those in your, your lyrics? Let's further go on here and read. Okay, cry on. I'm not crying, baby, you're crying. Okay, you're crying over those allegations that you never addressed. Internet celebrity, go blow me. Ain't nobody blowing you, baby, okay? I'm sorry. Somebody's doing the blowing, but it ain't nobody on you, okay? I'm just saying that right now, okay? 
You even said that in that interview with Tana Mojo. Don't you remember that video you did with Tana Mojo? You talked about your your then partner back in the day, Nathan Schwant, and you said something about he don't he don't blow you, you blow him. Do you remember that? I remember covering that. So I remember that. Okay, so I don't think anybody's blowing you, but anyway, oh my god, the Jeffree Star fans are getting so pissed right now. Quintet of wannabes. I don't get that. High heels never trip. All right, girl. I like I like somebody that can walk in heels that don't trip. Always kills me in a pageant, you know, a drag pageant when somebody trips on stage. Not a good look. Swallow never spit. Oh, okay, girl. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse you. That's exactly. You should call this album "Excuse Me." Okay, is which you should have taken the lyric right here. Excuse me, and you should call the whole album "Excuse Me" because this is stupid. Hi, how are you? Don't let go. <laughs> Don't cry. I'm releasing a song called Don't Cry, and everybody's going to know it's a joke. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Post-chorus. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Verse 2. Okay, 20 years in the game. <laughs> Social media, not the same. Well, that we all know that. Cosmetics, icon. Worldwide. Try, no, uh-uh, baby. <laughs> Candy Burris from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, she's worldwide, okay? <laughs> She's worldwide, baby. You ain't worldwide, okay? You're TikTok wide is what you are. Call people a bunch of pookies up in the TikTok. You ain't worldwide no more. Candy Burris, okay? You didn't see that episode, Jeffrey? Go watch it. Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? Take, a, take an hour off of TikTok and go watch Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? <laughs> when Candy Burris says she's worldwide, okay? Worldwide tried on beauty mastermind. Everything I want is mine. Pink vault. Girl, are we still talking about that pink vault? <laughs> Did you cut it out and take it to your house in Wyoming? Old friends, career is dead. Bye. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> you are still talking about them friends of yours that you were so happy to get rid of 16 years ago. The same way I'm covering Dale's stew drama over here, okay, on a dead drama commentary channel. I'm the first one to admit it, okay? I know I talk about the same five people that don't have careers anymore. You're writing songs about them, girl, okay? People are saying that I'm jealous of you. Girl, whose career is dead? You lost 1.2 million subscribers. I think that's actually more than Manny and Laura both lost. You've lost 1.2 million subscribers. Oh, because you decided to leave. Well, has you, have you gained any back? Let's go over your social media. Social Blade. God, I haven't looked on Social Blade in forever on the computer. Okay, Social Blade. Let's look how many subscribers you've gained since you came back uh, on, hold on a second. Jeffrey Star, Jeffrey Lynn, Pookie Star, Jeffrey Lynn. Okay, Jeffrey Star. Let's look him up on the Social Blade and see how many subscribers he's gained since he came back to YouTube. Oh, no, baby. Uh-uh. 918. Well, I don't know. When, that was last Wednesday. That was, was that after, you lost 100,000 subscribers last Wednesday, girl. Um, your views are down, girl. Uh-uh. Oh, you lost 100,000 subscribers after you came back to YouTube. It shows it right here. It shows your views. 132,670, 211, 380, and then the next day you lost 100,000. You coming back to YouTube did you no favors, okay? You're the one losing subscribers, calling out your old friends. I'm not saying that they're doing great. Um, but no, you're not, you're not doing that great, girl. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> let's get back to the lyrics. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Old friends, career is dead. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Where's the lyrics again? Oh, I keep on going in and out of this article that this Forbes list article that he references on his songs, talk, calling him a racist and allegations of essay. <laughs> You brought a lot of people's attention to that Forbes list article, so you might want to bring that back up again. Okay, chorus. Hi, how are you? Okay. Post-chorus. Ha, 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 ha. Iconic behavior. Oh, I should have worn my icon hat today. Ha, ha. Bitch, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, bitch. How are you doing, girl? Pookie land. We're so iconic. I know, we are. Forever ourselves. Girl, you have never been yourself. You have never once ever been yourself. We will be. We're so iconic. We're so iconic. Iconic. Hi, how are you? Uh, is there more, is there more verse? Oh, wait. Post chorus. Ha, 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 ha. We're so sick. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Don't play with it unless you're going to play with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is, you are dirty minded. Outro. Wyoming winner. Yak richer. Yeah, because you cut those pets up and sell them as meat. We all know it now, okay? Oh, no. This is my, this is my yak Sally that I keep as a pet. So I can fool you all into thinking that I like animals, okay? Because I got a vegan makeup line. So I got to act like I like animals. The rest of them, hamburgers, okay? 
Makeup local. <laughs> What is this song? Beauty Killer. We're so iconic. Now you hear, ha ha ha. This is delusional. I can't even anymore. <laughs> hi, how are you? Hi, hi, how are you? You want to want to look and see? Can you do the TikTok? Okay, let's do the TikTok and let's look up Jeffrey Star how he's doing on TikTok on Social Blade. I don't know how accurate this is. I don't think I've ever looked at it before. Oh, this can't be right. If this is, if this is accurate, isn't there like a link somewhere to this? TikTok profile, let's go and see what it is. Why is it not pulling up? If this is accurate, oh my God, it is accurate. <gasps> you guys, this is so embarrassing. His social blade on TikTok. I mean, he's getting a lot of likes, but like, on Monday the 16th, he got three new people. And then on the Tuesday, he lost three. And then on Thursday, he got two. And then he didn't get any. This can't be right. No, this can't be right. Oh, yeah, it is. Because it says 6.8 million. On this thing, it says 6.8 million. Oh, he's not getting any new people over there. Let's look and see how accurate this is. Michaela. Let's look and see how accurate this is. Why is it not pulling her up? Come on, Michaela. I mean, it links right to his TikTok. I'm looking at it. 224 following, 6.8 million followers. Why isn't it pulling up hers? I don't know why it isn't. Michaela. No, that's not her. Is her TikTok called something else? Who's a big TikToker? Let's look up Chris Olsen. He's a big TikToker. Okay. It's been in the news lately. I feel like I'm sitting talking on the phone to somebody. Chris Olsen. No, that's not him. Why is it just pulling up Jeffree Star? Who's a big... Uh, oh, let's look up Charlie D'Amelio. Is she even on there anymore? On TikTok. Let's look her up. Why is it not pulling up these people's names? Oh, you know why? Because you must have to use their exact name. I mean, I, I literally pulled it up right here when it on his TikTok because when you look at it, it says 224 following, 6.8 followers, 136 million likes, make a mogul and yak rancher living in Wyoming, living my dreams, videos, reposts, liked. Yeah. So anyway, TikTok's not doing you so good, girl. Okay. I wonder why you didn't put TikTok in your lyrics. Anyway, I think the album is a fail, <laughs> but listen, we should look up and see Beauty Killer, um, Billboard. Okay, Beauty Killer, Jeffree Star, Billboard 2024. Let's look up and see. No, not there. Beauty, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Beauty, okay, no, it's, <laughs> sorry. Wait, oh wait, did it peak? No, that's 2009. In 2009, uh, the album was a commercial failure as, oh, what? What is this article? Beauty Killer, this is on Genius. It says, Beauty Killer is the only, and the only, is a debut and only studio album by America. Okay, wait. What did it say? It was a failure. Hi, how are you? Hi, hi, how are you? It's kind of catchy though, isn't it? But he's been saying it forever. Um, the album was a commercial failure as it peaked at 122 on the Billboard top charts. Okay, that's in 2009. I wonder what this one's gonna do. Anyway, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. <clears throat> and don't ever forget, you put the thing puts the lotion on its skin before it gets the hose again. Hi, how are you? I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.